Good afternoon guys, uh, I'm back again and I'd like to introduce you my Asam Prawn. Today, this Asam Prawn is going with the Nasi Lemak, a very famous dish. Anyway, here you go. To do the Asam Prawn is uh, no hard and fast rule and all that. Um, how you going to do it, how you want to make it is very, very simple. I'm not going to show you like how other YouTubers does bit by bit, recipe by recipe, ingredient by ingredient and whatnot. I'm just going to talk like how a pastor preaches to you. Very simply, when you cook, it is not uh, so straightforward as in like uh, how many grams of each ingredient and you put together, you marinate it, you mix it, you stir fry it and voila, you know, it's there. Yes, it acts as a base for you because in cooking, there's so many elements involved from the kind of wok that you use, what material including the fire, small, medium, high, some of you are even using electric. So there are a lot of elements and whatever ingredient in terms of grammage I am to give you, it will never turn out to be the same. So cooking is all about trial and error. Cooking is all about you doing it over and over again, like how you practice playing your guitar, football and sports and you'll get it right one day. So as for this tamarind prawn, asam prawn, very simple. As the word asam, you have to put in tamarind to marinate with the prawn. You devein the prawn, you lift the head on, so there's the sweetness in the head. Uh, you marinate it with uh, dark soy sauce. Dark soy sauce, don't put a lot, just one tablespoon, enough. And uh, sugar, depending on how sweet you want it to be, I leave it to you, a tablespoon, two tablespoons, again, trial and error. That's all, and that's it. You stir fry it, till it turns out with this color. And... And that's it. I just garnish it with a little bit of ginger. As for nasi lemak, you will see that there is onion or shallot here. Nasi lemak is very easy to cook. But there is a secret to it. Obviously, you put uh, lemongrass, garlic, shallots, and um, salt. You need to salt the rice when you cook it. And obviously, you also need to put in uh, coconut milk. However, the secret is this. 10 minutes before the rice is fully cooked, what you want to do is to put is to stir the rice and put in more coconut milk. Basically, you want to coat every grain with the coconut milk. More coconut milk, again, it all depends on you, how many cups of rice you're using and all that. Again, it's trial and error. You do it enough times, you do it very well. And it's going to turn out to be so delicious and a blessing to your family. So stay tuned. Kapow! And I forgot to mention the most important ingredient in Nasi is the pandan leaves. <laughs> Enjoy your cooking. <laughs>